the sun is setting over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. It's day two, building our little cabin. Most of the foundation and floor framing is done. Atypical, I know. Talk about that later. On this 18 acre piece in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Got about a 40% grade to get up here. The whole thing is pretty hilly. <laughs> but that gives you a couple benefits. One, you can see further. More mountains, more trees. Surrounded by Aspen. Really neat part about this location, what made it semi-flat here, is this rock formation jutting out. If not for this, this part would be all 40% grade as well. I need to clear out these bushes. Whoa. How do you like that? Down there is the truck and the lumber. This rock comes out about 20 feet off the ground, right there, right here. It's pretty amazing. You'd never know looking at it on satellite. I was thinking, you know, just a few rocks. And... So the question is, how in the world did I get all this stuff up here? There's enough tin here for a 32 foot by 16 foot cabin. I probably won't use it all, not, not now. So, this is how he did it. These are four quarter inch ropes, 600 feet long from Harbor Freight. Got a pulley up here. I had it attached to this tree a little too high, obviously. You can see what happened. So I reattached it lower on another tree. Gone well so far. Another Harbor Freight special, extra wide hand truck is now trucking lumber up a hill pretty cool and of course it didn't work several times I spilled my lumber a few places but it's got everything you see here all the way up here and it can do the rest no problem and the rope hasn't failed it stretches quite a bit which is good because how we're powering this is down at the bottom. Got my truck. Can't really see it, but we, we hit another pulley. And then that pulley directs the rope up the road. So I just, I, you've got one, you've got two lines started. I'll pull this hand truck down and you can see two lines. There's one that's pulling the hand truck up, the other one going down, hitting that pulley, going to the truck. And then I drive. And the lumber, the metal, just comes up the hill. Had a lot of bad ideas. A lot of them that didn't work, but this one, I'm thankful, did work. So...
cool thing about this location, most of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, you can't really get cell service. But right up here, I got it. And if I go up the hill a little bit, I've got good Wi-Fi, 30 gig or 30 megabyte download. Nice thing about it is no one can see me. The cabin will be hidden by the rock. Nobody will know we're here. We're pretty deep. It takes 35 minutes once you hit, hit uh, get off the pavement to get up here. Pretty steep sometimes. And that's all for today. Hopefully I get some sleep tonight.